Obiabo Alam, you can't preach it. Eh, oh, I want more evil state. Oh, I want more evil state. Elena Govolum, Elena Govolum, not Govolum. Guess not for your blood, not for your blood, not for your blood. Where's that boom? Where's that boom? Lenny Doma, it's a boy in Mobutu. Manny Doma, I love all of it. It's a man, I love all evil state. Opoli Joma, what a touchy. What is that? What a little bro, what's up? A lemme, a lemme, a dead demo just to get what's up. A pumo, 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 there is something you need to know about the path we have chosen to propagate this very gospel. Do you know that some things are buried inside the ground? It is left for archaeologists to go and find it. They have to dig and to uncover it. Do you know the meaning of discovery? It means to bring to light something that is buried on the ground. That's the meaning of archaeology. Without the science of archaeology, there is no way you would have known that you contained in Inri of all places, the Star of David was buried on the ground. The six-pointed Star of David was buried there. Without the help of archaeology, you wouldn't have known that we built pyramids at UD. We are bringing those things to light. Some people are still confused because that is the work of the devil to do it. As I have said before, I will say it again, Biafra is a special project of heaven. If you pursue Biafra restoration like any other country in the world, you will fail. If you like, go and try it. If you pursue our freedom the same way that other people pursue their freedom, you will be here for the next 1,000 years and nothing will happen about it. Chuko Kikabiyama wants you to understand the place you hold in his heart that you are his children. You came to Africa for the purpose, to bring light where there is darkness. He chose you for that divine mission, knowing fully well that devil will come. The entities of darkness will circle you. Do you believe in his glory and his power enough to understand that he will rescue you from all of that? And set you above all your enemies. If you can accept that, then you know that the affair is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It's too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun. The devil will try. Darkness will try. But in the end, we are going to win. And when you tell your children the story, you will tell them a particular man called the Nam Khan who said so, and it happened because Chuko Kikabiyama said we must say it. And that's exactly what we are doing. If you are in any doubt, I'm not in any doubt. We are not running this effort the same way other countries do theirs. Chuku Ukike Abiyama is central to what we do. We don't name our children Nkechi Nene for nothing. We don't name them Obioma Chuku for nothing. We don't name our children Chuku Dera for nothing. It's not for nothing, for goodness sake. We are the embodiment of the virtues of heaven itself. You must understand that very, very well. Some of you bear other names and they wonder, how about those without any name or connotation referring to the supreme being? I say, because you don't know your history, you don't know the divinity of where you're coming from. If you want lecture on it, we'll lecture you. Do you understand? The same way that people in Christendom answer Michael who is an angel, they answer the names of angels, the same way you are also answering for messengers of heaven. How you have chosen to worship those messengers of heaven is entirely up to you. One thing is critical. Biafra will be the habitation of Chukutika Biyama. We will offer up Biafra to him as sacrifice. Without it, Biafra will not come. If you like, go and try. Omambia. Ask yourself, why was it that those that gave you Christian religion abandoned you when the Islam, when Islam came to kill you? Have you ever asked yourself, why is it that no head of state in the whole world that is what it sought can ever mention Biafra? Do you know the reason why? Do you know that Biafra is the only conflict in the world that children saw it as they had to kill themselves? Biafra is the only conflict in the whole world 
that people saw and committed suicide. Do you know the reason why? There are some things about you that you don't even know. Most of you don't even know who you are. Any day you know who you are, I also will see your face and they'll run away from you. Because you think you're cheap. That is why Awosa is messing about with you. Let me re-echo what His Excellency said. There is no force on this earth that can defeat Biafra. You are amazed. I'm saying this. Yes, I am. Because none can. Chukwu Kikadama wants to know, do we believe in him well enough to deliver his kingdom to this earth? Are we worthy of that very kingdom? That's the question I have to ask you. Do you know what it means to be called Mwachubu? A child of heaven. Or you think it's a cheap name that anybody can give to their child? You don't know the meaning of it. And that is why it was taken away from you for so long, because you never knew what was given to you. It was taken away from you that through his mercy and his divine grace, he has shone the light once again on the, some of the things that were hidden about us. We are now beginning to uncover them. That is why we can never fail this time around. We either get Biafra or we all die anyway, so you don't need to worry. Either way, we are going to have victory, even in life or in death, because this Biafra is the kingdom of heaven. If you die fighting for it, there is not a better way for you to die anyway. This is Radio Biafra. We thank you very much for listening this very evening. Some things may appear confusing to some people because you don't know it. These are things of the spirit. Do you know we ask some Abara where we come from? Do you know where is Abara? No, you don't know. Spirit. Spirit. Some people are children of the spirit. There are some things about us that most of you can never ever... If you think about who we are, believe you me, you go mad. If you sit down to study who we are, you will go insane. People worship the sun god. Are you aware of that? Zeus, the sun god in Europe. I have never seen a white man answer Mr. Sun as he went before, but answer Anyang. Do you understand that? There are deep mystical things that are that are too deep about you. That is why the white man is afraid of you. Unwabara. The white man looks at Biafra and is running and saying, These people we must avoid them. That is what I want Boko Haram to do. When they see you in battle, they'll run away and will prevail eventually. Don't worry about that. Some of you may be by the side sneering. Some of you may want to dabble into semantics you're not aware of. Some of you may even attempt spirituality, which is beyond you. Biafra is too deep. If you know the meaning of Biafra, some of you will not wake up the next day because you will be, you will be insane. But we thank heaven for revealing it to us because we know that is why we are one hundred percent sure that Biafra is coming. There is nothing you can do about it to stop it. Nobody can, because the clock has been set running. And do you know how we set the clock running? By saying to Chukwu Abiyama, "These are your children. We're going to return your children back to you." And that is the only thing he wants to hear. If you go to the Bible from A to Z, from Genesis to Revelation, the only time he ever had mercy was when somebody will come out and say, "I am returning your children to you." Go and check your Bible very well. Then you know we are learned. Thank you very much for listening. We are, of course, reconvening again tomorrow. I cannot thank IPOB enough for the work you did on the 30th. All our principal officers, all of you, for the very excellent work you did. Of course, some of us, our teacher didn't arrive on time. We made contingency plans, but all the same. I must thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Because on that very day, you let humanity know. You placed them on notice that we are very sure about Biafra. If you are serious, you come with us. If you are not, stay by the side and watch and see what is going to happen. You may end up being very envious, greedy, or jealous. That is entirely your business because none of that can ever stop Biafra from coming. And none of it can stop us from leading this very army to battle when the time comes. Biafra is our religion. Now you know. Some of you don't know who you are. You are the only people. When the natural child, light skin amongst you in the whole of West Africa, do you know that? Uh -uh, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. There are many things about you you don't know. But the devil is trying. The devil will confuse you. Because before we come to where we are today in Biafra, and there were the people of the forest who were there, the jungles were there, the people of the forest, we drove them away. As we are coming, they kept running into the bush. Today, you can only find them in Guinea-Bissau. They are remnants, the original people that were there in that part of the world. We take up some of their names, including Omenka. For your information, most of their deities are now also we copied. That is only natural, because even the house of Israel was tainted by the foreign gods that surrounded them. That did not stop the glory of heaven from being bestowed upon them. The same thing is going to happen to you. Regardless of how iniquitous you are, Chukwu Kikabiyama will always have mercy, because we have called down that mercy from heaven. 
we did so on the 30th of May in our buying CKC of all places. That is why to us, Biafra will remain our religion. If you don't understand it, very tough. Here on radio, Biafra is where we will continue to worship. Why do we do so? Because we only know one entity to worship, not two, not three, not four. I have never seen anybody before answer any other thing. Answer Jesus. Or, uh, um, or if it's not Jesus, you answer if it's not you. Do you understand the meaning of that? Even in our stupidity, we've not forgotten who we are. We have not forgotten that every glory, that every glory belongs to heaven. He doesn't share. He said, I'm jealous. Share my glory and I will leave you. He abandoned us for long. We have gone back to him and that is why Biafra will come. That is why he will also bless, not just sustain, keep each and every one of you and your families, but most critically and importantly, this same Tukukika Biyama, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the author and the finisher, the architect of life itself, he that existed before creation came into being, will bless Biafra. Thank you very much for listening. From me, from here, please accept my good evening.